Virgos, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your monthly love reading for April 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will get started right away. Oops. Made a mess of my cards. All right, we will get started right away for our Virgo singles. Past, present, future energy with a foundation and an overarching energy. All right, Virgo singles for April 2019. Virgo singles. All right, you guys have the Four of Cups in reverse and the Sun in reverse. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and foundation is the Knave of uh, Cups. And your overarching energy is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant in reverse. So um, you guys could be recently single, just getting out of a marriage or a long-term commitment. Okay. So you guys have as your foundation the... Uh, Knave of Cups. You could have been a part of a third party, and this um, relationship has just recently ended. You see in the window the um, couple, and the this guy in here is pissed off. So you could be very angry. Um, there could have been, you could have, if you're the one that stepped out on the relationship, uh, Virgos, I am seeing that your person is uh, possibly has just left you for somebody else. If you were the one that was cheated on and that's why this relationship ended, you're still very upset about that as well. Um, and that's how you're bringing your energy in for the month. Um, so in your past, you have the four of cups in reverse. Let's see why this is here for our Virgo singles. You guys, um, it was kind of like you didn't know what you had until it's gone type of energy. Yeah, there was some betrayal here, most definitely. Um, you could have stepped out on the relationship, Virgos, and um, betrayed this person because you didn't realize what a, what a good catch they were. Or this person did this to you. If they did this to you, they're realizing now what they have. They Or what they had. They're realizing now what they lost um, by, uh, by not being true to you. Why is it sign here in reverse? Yeah, this, there's just uh, a lot of confusion surrounding this. Um, a lot of things were illuminated to you um, that happened behind your back. There's a lot of people in this relationship, um, whether you or them is the person that stepped out. Um, but there is a lot of people that are going to be coming into your energy as well. Um, as soon as you um, acknowledge and um, allow things to come to light, and deal with them, deal with those that heartache, deal with those emotions. If you're the one that was left, um, most definitely you have to heal that heartache. Um, and then you will have a lot of people coming um, toward you wanting uh, a relationship. With the Four of Pentacles in reverse, uh, this is just an energy of not really being interested in the person that is interested in you. Why is this Four of Pentacles here in reverse for Virgos? Thank you. The fool in reverse. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you, Virgo, but you're just not ready to get into a relationship. You're not ready. Um, this person's trying to get your attention and and you're just you're not having it. You don't you don't want love right now. You don't have a you don't want to give anybody a new beginning. Yeah, you're out of balance, Virgos, and you're um, overarching energy. This is kind of obsessed. Um, about somebody that could have been about obsessed about the person that you left or that left you. Excuse me. Um, but this is kind of obsessed about that connection, obsessed about the way that this ended. Um, and so it's really throwing you off balance. You need to ground your energy. You need to um, deal with this heartache, deal with this pain, allow new people into your life after you've um, allowed your own personal hurts um, to come to, come to the surface and be dealt with because you do have wish fulfillment for you singles coming towards you. But you're going to have to find that um, stability again, uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically, um, financially, everything. You're just, uh, this. the ending of this relationship just really threw you um, out of balance, kind of turned your world upside down. 
and that's um, what your focus is going to be in April is just getting that sense of stability back, um, grounding your energy and dealing with the situation at hand and kind of really blocking out love for you singles that are just recently getting out of a marriage or a long-term relationship. All right, Virgo couples, what do you guys have coming in April 2019? Virgo couples. Virgo couples. 2019. Okay, here we go. All right, Virgo couples. Okay. That is absolutely way too many, but I did get a good look at what the message was, so we'll see if any of those cards come back out. All right, Virgo couples, your guys' first card out is the Six of Wands. In reverse, your current energy with this person is the Hermit. At least you're coming in in your element, Virgos. And your guys' future energy. Is the chariot in reverse? Your guys's foundation is the world. Your guys's overarching energy is the tower in reverse. Um, your next card under the deck is strength in reverse. Then the stars. Wow, a lot of major arcana. Ten of swords, hierophant. Whew. Virgo couples, you guys are going through some shit. Okay, so. We'll start with your foundation. Um, you guys, honestly, Virgo couples, you could be nearing the end of a relationship as well. Um, completing a cycle with this person. Um, allowing things to end. Uh, or you could have been a part of a third party. Uh, Virgo, if you had a third party, you put the stop to one of those people. Now only focusing your energy on one person. Um this is a good foundation to have your, um, or your, this is a good card to have your foundation on. I'm actually seeing multiple situations. Another situation is, um, you just ended a relationship. Um, you're allowing that cycle to, um, complete your, you're getting all your lessons and moving forward. And now you have another relationship coming in for you soon. Um, not yet, but, um, on the horizon. So, in your guys' past, you had the Six of Wands. Could have been connected to a fire sign that you had a lot of sexual chemistry with. It was hot and heavy at one point in time. You viewed this person as the world, or they thought the world of you. It did come to an end with it being in reverse. Um, why is the Six of Wands here? For Virgo couples. I just heard that... that that fire sign could have been your third party, Virgo, is what I'm hearing. Um, let's see, though. what? Why is the Six of Wands here in the past? Okay, so um, you had the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands in reverse come out. Wow, your energy just got... I just got a wave of your energy. Very, very Virgos. You're feeling very, very anxious. All of a sudden, I just it just hit me. Okay, so things didn't work out with this fire sign. Things, or it don't have to be a fire sign, but it was something that was very passionate, very hot and heavy. Um, you could have contemplated leaving a home to be with this person. Um, you were splitting your energy. You were the one with the third party Virgo. Um, and you knew you had to end it with one. Either you had to end it with this person that you are very sexually and passionate sexually attracted to and passionate about leaving the home that you had already built. Um, and going towards this person, or you had to end it with this, um, person because your stability was at risk. Your stability was, um, 
getting turned upside down because the person that you were with and built this home with also knew about you sharing your energy. So things had to come to an end with one person or the other. So it did end with this person that you were sexually and emotionally and spiritually connected to. And you decided to focus your investment on building your home again or building your stability back up with the person that you had already built a home with. Um, in your guys' current energy, you guys are retreating. You guys are pulling your energy back um, from everybody. Um, you are lost in thought about this person that you were so connected to. Um, I do feel that this is you thinking about the person you let go, not the person that you're with. Um, you're uh, like really down and out. Um Wanting, you could want to send a message to this fire sign, but you feel really um, upset, sad, disconnected because uh, that person that you let go um, has ended their cycle with you and moved on with somebody else. For some of you, why is this hermit here in the current energy for Virgo? Couples. You're really lost and thought could have been a Sagittarius. That was a temperance uh, card, but there was a whole bunch of them. So why is a hermit here? Um, now what was I saying? You're really down and out. You really didn't want to let this person go, but you didn't want to lose your home either. You were worried financially. Um, yeah, the eight of wands. So you are lost in thought about this fire sign that you had to walk away from. You could be blocking their communication or they blocked you. One of the two messages are not getting through. Um, you're considering unblocking them to talk to them or you're lost in thought about how they blocked you and um, you feel like you lost you lost something great. You lost something. You lost your world, you know. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, so you're just kind of... You're retreating from everybody. Um, you are in your future energy. You have the chariot in reverse with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So you're not moving forward. You're not moving on. You're not moving in any direction. You're just stuck. Uh, you're just stuck, Virgos. Um, you're not... You're not putting your true investment in yourself. You need to focus on yourself, what it is that you truly want, what it is that you truly want, because where you're at right now, it, this is a cycle that's meant to close and you're not, you're not letting it, you're not moving forward. You're, you're stunting your growth spiritually and emotionally. And, um, in your future energy, it's calling for you to really focus on yourself and invest in your future, invest in what you want. Um, because this energy that you're in right now, this is now what you want and with your overarching excuse me with your over with your overarching energy being the tower in reverse you're trying to keep something from ending um even though you uh you don't necessarily want to be where you're at you are unsure of the future and it makes you um very anxious very stressed out you're letting fear control the situation. And um, so you're you're putting yourself in a place where you're meant to take your lessons and move on. Um, if you don't move forward, you will complete this karmic cycle again. Um, and you're just, you're having a hard time letting go. Let's see what this tower is all about. You're letting a hard, you're having a hard time letting go of the person that you built, um, built your, your stability with. Yeah, so you're just putting up a wall. You're blocking everybody out, blocking all your emotions. You're blocking out the hurt and the pain. The Ten of Swords. You're blocking out the hurt and the pain of losing the person that you were so connected to. Um, could it have been a soulmate, twin flame energy. Um, you're you're blocking out the hurt of losing them because uh, you're letting fear control your, your actions. Um, and you're blocking out this the uh situation at hand the the relationship that you're currently in that that you're not even investing in yourself for some of you you could be like st not stockpiling but like setting back money saving money in order to uh 
have some financial ground to stand on. So when the tower does fall, when you do allow yourself to get out of this stuck energy and move forward, um, being single, that you will have some financial stability. Um, so that is the case for some of you. You're just kind of waiting to get your finances uh, a little built up before you move forward. Um, yeah, and most definitely your next two cards at the bottom of your deck were the Ten of Swords and the World in Reverse. So um, it's calling for you to end this cycle, but you have to get you have to let this go. You're almost there, Virgos. You are so close. Um, you have to let the pain of that cycle um, end, heal from it, and allow allow this major life cycle to come to a completion. So you can usher in new energy. So you can um, go get what it is that you want. All right, Virgo uh, singles, you guys got unrequited love. Any other messages for Virgo singles? Okay, so um, the bottom of your deck is forgiving and learning. Most definitely, for those of you who are in that situation, you need to forgive and learn. Um, anybody that hurt you, um, but also forgive yourself if you were the one that, that caused pain towards somebody. Why is unrequited love here? The Hierophant in reverse. So, yeah, um, there it's it's time to move forward. It's time to forgive and learn because the person that you're dealing with, um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but um, doesn't have to be that you are ending a marriage with or a long-term commitment. Uh, there's not enough love to keep this going. It, it's calling for you to move forward. Okay, this is for the couples is what I'm just getting. If you are um, in a marriage or a long-term commitment, um, there's not enough love to keep this situation going. It's time for you to allow that cycle to close. It's time for you to um, invest in your future, invest in where you want to be. Um, I do see for this group of you a uh, marriage or long-term commitment coming to an end because you guys are both realizing and recognizing that there's just not enough to keep it going. Um, okay. For uh, you, um, look at there at the bottom, Virgo. For you, Virgo single, singles, you guys got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves um, to each other, your bond deepens. And this is being clarified by the Nine of Wands. So um, somebody new is coming in for you um, in the next month. I'm hearing you're going to meet somebody new. You're going to have a lot of fun getting to know each other, but you have to let go of uh, that the past. You're you're fighting um, you're fighting letting go. So it's time to lay that down. It's time to um, put the past behind you allow the transformation process and you do have new love coming in for you Virgo singles that will bring a lot of success that will um that will bring you happiness so let that energy go of that past person Virgos that um you guys are uh split up from and allow that new love in Virgo couples it's time to release this uh connection and go after um your whatever in life that it is that you want if it's somebody else if you want to be single and work on you know your finances whatever it is whatever tickles your fancy move in the direction that is going to bring you happiness and and let go of this connection that is struggling due to um the connection no longer being there so all right virgos uh you might have uh a couple challenges in the month of April, but overall, you guys, um, you guys are coming to a big transformation point in uh, in your life. So allow change, and um, just allow that healing, forgiving, and learning, and allow those blessings to come in your life. So, all right, guys, I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.